before we go pick up this wagon, um, we're gonna go inside this Walmart here. And uh, we gotta get our weekly groceries so we can eat this week. Yeah. We're still in Sioux Falls. This place was only, it's less than a mile from the truck stop. And I called ahead, told him I was bobtailing. And uh, if I can come and get some groceries, I call before I go to these Walmarts. Because if you don't, y'all will get towed away. But uh, it's definitely cheaper at a Walmart than it is at a truck stop. That's for sure. <laughs> She's having a difficult time backing up. Either that or she just doesn't want to do nothing while I got the camera. She saw me with the camera on. <sighs> Anyway, we're going to go in and get some shopping done. We'll be right back. All right, we're on the way to pick up our trailer now. It's loaded. But there was no Walmart when I was a kid. And then I remember for the first time, uh, Mom and Dad said there was a Walmart and they were going to check it out. And I remember this, St. Roberts, uh, yeah, St. Roberts, Missouri. I think it was after Missouri before I, I, I see my first Walmart and it wasn't like what you how you see Walmart now you know it wasn't one of them big super centers it was just a small store and they didn't even have grocery they, it was only jewelry uh, clothes uh, but they didn't have food at Walmart then lady gets out of my way and this pick em up truck gets out of my way we gotta go in check in give them our number this is what we had to do yesterday go back over here to our left that's the slaughtering that's where all the uh, hogs are coming and I don't know if they do uh, cows here I'm sure they do but uh, right now they're slaughtering hogs they got even got a sign got special places for people to park that is part of that uh, Smithfield that's actually the name of this place Smithfield if you ever pick up meat or something that says uh, or has Smithfield on it that's this is I think this is the main place but I know that they got more than one because I've seen it you know but we got to go over here to shipping because I was here I didn't have to do nothing over at, at the guard shack really except for sign in but we just got to go down here and uh and then just pick up our wagon we dropped it off over in uh b lot so i don't know where it's going to be loaded it could even still be in the dock you know but they said it was actually loaded at 2 30 this morning they never did call me mary uh mary ann our dispatcher she had to call me and then i was like apologetic oh i'm sorry she never did call me he said, that's okay, you know, you got plenty of time. You got to win uh, this, uh, or Tuesday at 3. I don't want to leave like that. I, I don't want to have to rush. I, I want the, I want to get the load and just go now, you know. Uh, it's 12.38 here, but I'll be going in the eastern time, so it's 1.38. But so we're going to be driving into the dark, that's a fact, and we're going to try our best to be pushing out 600 miles do our best anyway but I think we should go in and check in we'll be right back okay now what she tells me to do is go back there in the back and I have to look for my trailer <laughs> uh, you know how many 
trailers are back here? Really? Well, I know it ain't in the B lot. B lot says empty lot. Right? Well, and that's what it says. Empty trailers parking only. So we know it's not going to be in there. I got to look at every trailer. 6390 is what we're looking for. Oh, this, this could be fun. It's also got a carrier refrigeration unit. So that might be a little easier. It's not going to be a thermal king. There's some carriers right here. Are thermal keys here they're not gonna be here it ain't gonna be easy folks because I don't know what area and here's some more trailers trailers there kind of looking down that aisle yeah. that ain't gonna be easy you guys keep an eye if you see it holler at me would you <laughs> oh it's like looking for a needle in a haystack Gotta look for my trailer. It would have been nice if she'd have told me maybe what area, what group, what number, what section. And would it be something if it was actually in the part where it says empties only? No, it ain't these. These are dry vans here. <laughs> this is. to look for it. See now I see empties here. Let's go over here and look. I think this part where I'm at right here ain't the right area. I think it's maybe it's up here. I'm gonna drive off the ditch. Larry looking. Or thermal keens there. Like I said, my trailer's not a thermal keen. That kind of helps. Because if, if it's a thermal, I don't have to look for the trailer number on it. And there's a carrier there. That's thermal keen, thermal keen. There's a carrier. 6390 is my trailer. I'm gonna hear my reefer running, right? Because it's loaded. I don't hear no reefers. I'm looking for my wagon. She said, come back here and look. And I looked at every single trailer. I, I, I went up there and looked too. I looked at every trailer. Uh, nine, uh, 6390. Mark horse. Yeah. Well, I did get a hold of the yard guy. I told him, I said, I can't find it.
Hey, there it is. Right there it is. I found it. You, you know, my audience is going to laugh at me because I just found it. We, we were up here. Hey. <laughs> you guys want to laugh at me now? It is high. It's higher than what it was. See? See? That should be that. Fifth wheel should be flat. Should be right up against that. And it's not. It would still probably hook. But it may not hook correctly. So we gotta actually. Look out, Gage. But we gotta actually lower that down a little bit. a tug test. Let's dolly up. Hook the hoses. We gotta see that lady again. Be right back. 